Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at the Microsoft Teams notification feature. Teams is one of the most popular enterprise collaboration suite today. Back in 2017, Microsoft announced that it would so slowly phase out Skype for business in favor of its enterprise collaboration suite that is Microsoft Teams. In alignment with Microsoft Roadmap, I am very happy to announce that starting with Agile Point NX version 8.0, Software Update 1, Teams notification will replace Skype for Business notification system. As you know, the Agile Point workflow supports notification when any task event occurs. The events included are task assignment, task reassignment, task completion, task overdue, and task cancel. The other mechanisms of supported notification types include email, Salesforce Chatter, Microsoft Yammer, SMS. Till the release, Agile Point NX version 8.0, Agile Point supported Skype for Business in on-premise and private cloud modes of deployment only. Now it is replaced by Microsoft Teams notification system which is available in all Agile Point NX editions. So let's look at this feature in action. So I'm in my Agile Point portal. I'm going to navigate to App Builder. I'm going to open one of my process model. Now, in this process model, this is a tax audit kind of a process where somebody submits an application and it goes through the approval. Now, I do have some Microsoft Teams integration at the process model level as well. So this is not tied to the notification feature, but you can see I'm creating a Teams channel and I'm getting its corresponding URL as well. So all this is provided in our Microsoft Teams connector. So as you can see, there is a whole bunch of activities which are available. And we keep growing uh, this one. So like in this release, we added add members to private channel, delete channel, uh, archive team. So we keep adding more and more activities in, the, in this uh, connector. So once uh, the team has been set up, it is assigning a task for a supervisor review. Now, if you look at supervisor review feature over here, so I've set up one more notification type which is available under advanced. So once you configure it, it, it moves out to the main panel. And over here, you can see what I did was I set up a task notification on the assigned event. I could have set it up on other events as well. So I'm creating my first Teams notification template. What you see in this template is a set of fields. The first field specifies how you are going to make a connection to Microsoft Teams. Your IT admin might have created an access token or if you have privileges, you can create one as well. This would have credentials of an account which would be used to send the notifications to other users. So this would be a service account. The next field specifies the name of the template. The third field in the to field, you are going to specify who should be receiving these notifications. So in my case, I have specified it as task participant username. So the engine would automatically figure out who are the people who are assigned to this task, what are their corresponding team's ID, and then uh, send the notification. And then there is a rich text area over here where you can specify your template, message template. So as you can see, I have specified a custom message template with some variables which has some task context data. And at the end, if you see, I have specified two macros. So the first macro is MS Teams task link. It starts with a dollar. And in the bracket, whatever uh, text you provide, that would become the text on the button which was up on the Microsoft Teams. So the default value is open task. I've also specified open task. But you can, you can specify it even in a language of your choice like Chinese or Japanese. So this would be replaced by an open task link button on the, the Teams notification card. The other macro is $MS Team Process Viewer link. Again, in the bracket, you can specify the display name, which will be shown on the button. And this would be re replaced by a link which uh, or a button which will open the process viewer at runtime. So now one thing I wanted to, before I start running this demo, I wanted to show the task participant username. These are usernames. So how would we find what is the corresponding Microsoft team uh, handle of this user? So if you go to manage center, if you go to users, for each user, 
for example let's look at maybe john smith for each user there is a place where you can specify his corresponding microsoft teams uh, email id now if it is not available if it is blank we are going to try to see if the username is in format of a uh, upn format in form of an email we can try sending a message out to that particular email id so that's how it is uh, configured so in case uh, you have not synced up the microsoft teams column over here then it can fall back on the username column as long as it is it is in the email format now returning back to the app builder as i said uh, i've configured a microsoft teams notification for the task getting assigned and the, i've kept the two buttons over there what i'm going to do is i'm going to navigate to work center and i'm going to kick off this process so i have a form which has a bunch of fields the logic on my form is that i'm going to attach an excel file and it is going to parse data out of that excel file and populate rest of the controls and the excel file is getting uploaded to onedrive in this case i'm going to go ahead and click submit now for the sake of demo i'm going to play a multiple role so that i don't have to log in and log out i'm going to navigate to inbox tasks and you can see there is a new task setting in the as a group task over here if i open it you can see that the corresponding teams channel has been created and it is now sitting on the supervisor review step so supervisor is a user called richard smith i'm going to navigate over here so one thing you will notice is that if i go to chat a message got posted over here it's a uh, with context uh, sensitive data there's a link to open the task So as you can see it brought up the supervisor view also there is a link to open the view process so i can see the process viewer from here itself and uh, as i mentioned the two buttons it is showing the text which i specified in the configuration so if i wanted to write it in chinese or japanese i can i can give whatever display names as well also if i go to microsoft teams and i expand the team you can see a corresponding channel was created and users were added to it as well i'm going to cover this feature in one of my other videos but but as you can see for now uh, the, there is a now a teams notification system which has been put in place which replaces the existing skype for business notification thanks a lot for your time